I think gold is fantastically easy to work with. It's just a beautiful metal to work with. It models beautifully, it casts beautifully, it rolls out beautifully, it does everything you want it to do. It has a, a, a real character to it. It has this sort of heft to it that just makes it appear to be important. It has all the properties that a craftsman could want, but it also has this extra property, which is this kind of romance, the idea of people have lived and died for it, the idea of El Dorado. And it's still one of those kind of incredibly romantic things, a very sexy thing, girl. You know, it feels great. The weight of it always astounds people, and you can just do so much with it. Gold, when I started, was a very, very precious commodity. And most of the gold in the UK was nine carat. In the late 70s, when we first started doing jewelry and selling jewelry, we were the first people in England to only sell 18 carat jewelry. Everyone said, you're mad, you know, you never sell it, it's too expensive, people won't buy it. We just said, no, we're going to make our, only make our own things, only sell our own things, do everything 18 carat. So I never, ever lose the fascination with gold. I never, you know, when I see a lump of gold, when it arrives upstairs in the workshop and you start to see it being worked, it's just a fabulous thing. You know, when you see it start to take shape, it's almost like watching a, you know, a, a marble sculpture take place. I'm a great believer in jewellery being incredibly sentimental and having lots of meanings and hidden meanings and being very talismanic. And so I like jewellery that does a lot of stuff, even if it looks very plain. You know, I like the idea of handmade gold, and things it really being given respect. I'm always miffed by gold just being used to cast millions of identical things, stamped out in, in huge quantities. You know, I believe if you're using, you know, the, the, the king of all metals, the emperor of all metals, whatever gold happens to be, that you should be using it to make really wonderful things. It's a limited supply of gold. You want to use it with great respect. I think the gold probably isn't given enough respect. Too many things are just pumped out in it. And I'd like to see it used more for really um, individual and unusual things.